it's inevitable that dealing with vulnerabilities is going to reach a point where computers need to reboot it, but you need to be able to check to know if the computer needs to reboot or not. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, but before we get started, I want to thank Savitar to AI, which is a company I work for, for actually sponsoring the Tenable Tenant, which allows us to do the vulnerability scan and be able to do the series. So go to Savitar to AI, sign up for a free trial, get a free external vulnerability scan, and not to mention you get a chance to see our awesome services. So check us out. All right. So here's the vulnerability. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. Now, Tenable shows that basically uh, Windows reboot is required. But it says right here, if you look at the, the language here, it says that it was able to essentially verify using the registry, right? According to entries in the registry, the Windows update uh, to comp for a Windows update to complete is going to need to reboot. But let's see. Okay, can we actually check that? So I've been looking around. And so I'm going to test the script because what it says is we need to do uh, we need to uh, install this module. So I'm going to go ahead and paste it here. All right. And so you can start to see some other work I'm working on. But anyway, let's go and paste this module. All right. So we're going to install this module called uh, Pending Reboot. And then once that completes, we'll run the next command. Okay. So now it's going to prompt us and say that some other items are pending and required. So go ahead and drag this over. Are right, we going to kind of accept that? Just going to go ahead and say yes for this one. All right, so now it's going to tell us that we're installing install from untrusted repository. Now, here's the thing this is a big thing right now. Repositories are being attacked really, really significantly right now. So, people are being able to put modules and stuff in there. So, you do want to be careful here. So, we're going to, in this case, we're going to go ahead and say yes for this one. Okay, so now it says modules installed. So now I'm going to run the command. Let's see if this actually works. Supposed to test Windows updates and let us know. All right. So based on what it says here, let's see, we got what kind of input. Unable to query the client. Let's consider using. So it wants us to use this different parameter called skip configuration client check. Now, even though it gave us that information here, if you look right here, this is what we're looking at. is reboot pending. And that's actually showing true. So this module does work because it allows you to see if a computer reboot is pending. Now, the thing is, I would like to find a better way out. I'm sure there's probably a way to do it without like installing this module. So if you know of that, then let me know. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and restart the computer. We're going to use a PowerShell man command called restart computer. All right. So what is it? it Fail to restart the computer. This is shut down. Cannot be in shape because there's a user's logged on. Okay, all right. So now we got to address this issue. Now in PowerShell, typically you can do what's called a tack force to force the action, and it looks like that's going to work. All right, let's see if this reboots. Okay, so now we're back. The computer's actually rebooted. So I'm going to try to run this command again to basically test reboot pending. And so now that we've installed the module, we can run a command and look Windows update. Um, it says false is reboot pending still shows true. All right, so I'll play along. Let's go ahead and see if we can issue another reboot command. So we're going to do a restart computer tag force. All right, and we'll let this because the thing is we may have other pending updates, but it says Windows auto update is turned off. Okay, so there, so we got a pretty instant reboot. So we're going to let this restart and then we'll come back with the rest of the video. Okay, so this is our second reboot. Now I'm going to go ahead and test the flag again to see if it shows up at this point. There we go. Okay, and so you can see clearly at this point that the reboot is pending is false. So Windows up auto update. I think that was true before. I'm not sure if that changed during the whole thing, but you can clearly see once again that there are no pending reboots at this point. So that is how you check it. You install the module and run those two commands. I'll put those in the uh, in the description of the video. So if you will drop a like if this video is helpful, I hope it will help you in manage and reboots on your devices using PowerShell remotely. But please drop a like on the video and please subscribe to the channel and leave any questions or comments in the, the uh, chat. I'm sorry, in the description of the video.